This is an AI image and this is that image converted into an AI video. AI video generators are a dime a dozen nowadays and over the past year I've tested a ton of them but this one's a little different. In this video, I'll show you yet another AI video generator to hit the scene. This thing is crazy. Here's the cool part. As of right now, it is free to use, it is web-based, and they have a built-in upscaler. Now, there are two ways to use this AI video generator, and that is through their web browser or through their Discord server. The name of this new AI video generator is called... Let's take a look at some examples. Awesome stuff. Now, if we look on the create button, we have two options, text or image. We have our usual positive prompt, negative prompt, and this interesting option, inspiring prompt to dual clips. If we scroll over the information icon, it says, by turning on this feature, your prompt will be analyzed to find the most related and appropriate prompts. This will lead to the creation of two shots. That's interesting. Down here, we got different styles you can choose from. They got realistic anime and 3D animation styles. Then our aspect ratios, the normal 16 by nine, nine by 16, and one by one, and these other aspects ratios down here we have the seed option it's already set to some random seed we can click this circular icon to cycle through random seeds and then our create button let's go into the image to video tab and check out the options this is where we upload our image then we got our positive prompt no negative prompt options in the image to video section strength of motion which is set to 0.55 by default and last but not least our seed let me go back to the text to video section and i'll use the prompt photo of a cyborg which is the prompt i normally start off with in my videos very basic to see how well it handles basic prompts like this i'll leave everything by default and i'll come back to this option later i'll do a basic 16 by 9 ratio and click create it says the system is operating at full capacity so basically everybody's on here generating videos at the moment so this might take a while i'll speed up this process all right let's look at our first generation uh i don't see any motion let me click into it Yep, the video is plain, but there is no motion. As far as the visuals, though, looks nice and it's not even upscaled. There might not be any motion because of the prompt I used, which was photo of a cyborg. We can upscale it here or retry. I'll go back, leave the prompt the same, but this time check the inspiring prompt to dual clips option and click create. Again, this will take some time, so I'll speed up the video. Okay, it looks pretty good. We can see some slight motion in this one. This one doesn't really look like a cyborg too much, but you can see some parts here in, in her face. The motion was nice and smooth. What I'll do is take out photo of a cyborg and use mechanical cyborg as our prompt instead and uncheck this dual prompt option. Click create and of course speed up the video. Okay, this one looks pretty good. Not bad being that I didn't upscale any of them. I'll come back and test this image to video feature. For now, let's check out the frequently asked questions. Okay, so we got some basic how-to instructions. This one is interesting. What if I don't want my videos to be visible in the community gallery? Your videos will be visible in the community gallery by default so that everyone can get inspired by other creations. However, if you don't want your videos to be visible to others, you can use a direct message feature in Discord to generate with our Pixverse bot. In this case, your videos will not be seen by others, but will stay in your collection. Wow. Okay. Interesting. We definitely need to look into that. Can I use the videos for commercial purposes? Feel free to use the videos in any way you want for complete details. See our terms of service. Nice. So that's it for the frequently asked questions section. If you want to read more about it, just head over to the website. Now let's test out that image to video feature. First, I'll need an image. So I'll generate one at Leonardo AI. I'll look for an image that catches my eye. This one looks good. So I'll copy this prompt and I'll go to the image generation section, paste that prompt in, check the aspect ratio, looks good. Set the aspect ratio to 16 by nine and generate. There we go. I'll download this and head back to Pixverse. Here, I'll head over to the image to video tab. 
drag and drop doesn't work here that sucks so we will have to click here and manually select the path and file typically most web apps allow drag and drop and to not have that option kind of sucks i deal with a lot of different work from other clients projects to my own projects and having to dig through my file paths to select that image kind of sucks guess i'm spoiled with that drag and drop feature it's super convenient to just leave file explorer open in the window you're working in and be able to drag and drop the images oh well here's what i generated nice So I'll try the upscale feature next. Just a note, the upscale feature took a really long time to upscale. I paused the video and came back 10 minutes later. It was still not done. So I walked away from the PC and from there I lost track of time. So just a heads up, it took me over 10 minutes to upscale the video. It also said that the system was operating at full capacity. So that has to be factored in as well. Even at full capacity, generating the actual videos itself took maybe two to three minutes. And here are the results. Let's check out the Discord. Here under the get started section, they have a frequently asked questions area. Earlier in the video, I know we went over an option like making video generations private through DMing the Discord bot, but it didn't work. I guess they're still implementing that. My guess is that they'll bring that feature only in to paid users. This one looks interesting beta tester program i'll get back to that one later here's one i know you guys are interested in how to remove the watermark let's check that one out our subscription plan is under development we'll take another week or two to release it as for now you can take a look at this post beta tester program okay that was posted on january 29th the next post is on february 2nd today of recording this video is february 5th but you probably won't be seeing this video till next week as i already have videos scheduled for the next week it says in discord type slash settings but that's only if you already have the beta tester role so let's look at what we need to do to become a beta tester here we go how to become a beta tester create a video using pixverse and showcase it on your favorite social platforms don't forget to tag pixverse to submit your creations please send an email to beta tester at pixverse.ai with the following details they will review your submission and if your work meets their criteria they will respond within a week let's go back and check out if we can add pixverse to our discord server i'll get back to this one for now let's see how to create videos longer than four seconds looks like we currently can't straight from their platform but if you watch my video here i show you a trick on how to do this with pika labs and it also works the same with runway ml and it'll work here as well also as far as adding pixverse bot to your own server they don't have that feature added in yet okay let's try creating here on discord Discord. I'll head over to the generating room and type slash. This brings up the menu. I'll start with settings. We got remove watermark, fast mode, relax mode, and reset settings. I'll try remove watermark. It says we must be a subscriber. Okay, so let's try fast mode. Okay, same thing. We must be a subscriber. So I'll go ahead and use slash create to start. We need a text prompt. I'll use mechanical cyborg. As for style, I'll select realistic aspect ratio 16 by 9 and character none of course i'll pause the video and be back with the results okay it's completed On Discord, they give you four results. Looks kind of like mid-journey where you can like upscale or create variations of a specific generation. I must say the outputs from Pixverse was good. And as of now, Runway ML charges for AI video generations and Pika Lab recently jumped on the paid side of things as well, leaving us with less free options. But Pixverse right now is free. So enjoy it while it lasts because they are already working on a premium plan. What I generated and showed throughout the video wasn't cherry picked, but I did generate a ton more after recording this video and here are the results.
If you want to learn how to generate videos over 4 seconds, check this video here. This method and technique works here as well with the image to video feature. Until next time.